Hello everyone, welcome back to Gardening Mindfully. I hope you are doing well. One of the things that I look forward to each summer is growing my own tomatoes. Nothing says summer to me like picking tomatoes fresh from the vine to add to salads or to make sandwiches. Today I'd like to share with you three issues that I'm having with a tomato plant this plant right here that's growing in this container. The first issue that I'm having with my tomato plant is tomato leaf curl. The second issue is blossom drop. The third issue that I'm experiencing with this tomato plant is horn worms. Need I say more? Now let's talk about leaf curl. When your tomato plant experiences leaf curl, the leaves either turn upwards or downwards. My leaves are turning up and inward, almost as though they're closing. Look at this one. When this happens, there is no cause to panic or to sound any alarm. We have been experiencing a lot of hot, dry temperatures for the last several weeks. And what's happening is that your tomato plant is trying to protect itself from any further water loss which is pretty ingenious. So the plant is trying to survive. Look at those leaves. See how they're curling up and inward. So the plant is trying to protect itself and to conserve water. Now let's talk about my second issue, which is blossom drop. So my tomato plant has been blooming or producing flowers for several weeks. So it will start out like this beautiful yellow flower right here. And then it will dry just like that one back there and falls off. So it dries and falls off without bearing any fruit. The cause of blossom drop in our tomato plants has to do with the temperature. When your tomato plant experiences extreme dry, hot conditions or very cold conditions, it tends to drop the flowers. Here's another blossom that went dry, that's going to fall off without producing any fruit. Now regarding the leaf curl, besides extreme temperatures, other reasons why your tomato plant may experience leaf curl is either due to lack of water or too much nitrogen. But that's not the case here with this tomato plant. My issue has to do with the extreme temperatures that we have experienced the last several weeks. As far as the treatment for blossom drop, 
what I found is there is actually a product that is called Blossom Set, which is a plant hormone, generally is sprayed onto the plant to set the blossom and prevent it from dropping. The third issue that I'm having with this tomato plant is horn worms. As you can see from this photograph, the horn worm is a large green caterpillar with a horn-like tail. They can be very elusive as their green color help them to almost go unnoticed. If left alone, two horn worms will strip one tomato plant of all of its leaves in one day. So how can you tell if your tomato plant has horn worms? One, look for black droppings on the leaves. The droppings are called frass. The second way to tell is to look for bare stems with missing leaves. The bare stems tells you where the worms have been. Let me know in the comment section if you've had similar issues with your tomato plants and how did you handle them? What did you do? Let me know in the comment section below. And remember, the taste of homegrown tomatoes far outweighs any issues we have to deal with in growing our tomato plants, whether that's leaf curl, blossom drop, or horn worms. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe, like, and share this video. Happy gardening. Bye for now.